Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counter Side C video. Alright, so this video is going to be a bit different. I want to use E1 Team, uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now. So you can see I've going gone through a couple of, uh, you know, modification and change up the team a couple of times. So E1 is going to be the core of this character. Uh, the entire team revolves around E1. So E1 is going to be crucial and then we have Sparrow and we have Glitch. Now why do we need Sparrow and Glitch? That's going to be the most ideal food for E1 to sacrifice. Now if you're not familiar, uh, if you have never read E1 skills before, E1 is actually unique. Uh, you, if you sacrifice Max to her, she have her attack increased by 15% up to 3 stacks. Alright, so it goes up to 45%, which is crazy. So the technique here is you want to use Coffin 6, because if you're not aware, Coffin 6 actually coughs out one Tarask that you can basically use. So that's already one unit. So you just need like a Sparrow or a Glitch. So these are 3 units in total that will be able to give your E1 a 45% attack boost. Keep in mind, your E1 cannot be healed. So you cannot bring Ironside or Claudia, cannot receive non-permanent buffs as well. The good thing is, uh, Ally Mac destroying buff adds damage reduction plus 15%. So up to 3 stacks as well. So that's what makes E1 strong. And also one crucial thing, E1 has the ability to remove buffs. So E1, similar to Awaken Yuna, can remove barrier, barriers that can be removed can be removed by E1. Alright, so she's actually really really strong in PvP. With that being said, let's jump into, you know, a team, show you guys the process of how you can be a toxic E1 abuser. Ooh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Alright. Gonna put this. There's a Taras right there. Alright, gonna, gonna deploy this. Hopefully we come in as soon as we can. I need to uh, deploy overflow ASAP. So overflow is here. Go front. What's that? Awaken heal day. Alright. Awaken heal day is pretty cool. Alright, you want ultimate? Here comes the power. Ooh, that nuclear man. That nuclear. Crazy stuff. Alright, he got minis raw. Alright, alright. I will prepare my uh Veronica just in case. Okay, oh we can heal there with the ultimate. Uh we're gonna deploy Grandel for now. Okay, E1 ultimate again. Ooh, look at that! You guys saw that E1 ultimate? Oh my god! Where is E1? E1 is dead, which is fine. We're gonna redeploy. Redeploy E1. He went with Awaken Shinja, I went with E1, okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna go with Veronica. So E1 waiting for for the special skill from E1 right there. Okay, uh, awaken heal there again. We're gonna put Grandel at the back. All right, it's gonna help us out a little bit. Okay, we got the ultimate off. E1 ultimate again. All right. Oof, oh my god, you guys saw that? Wow, E1 ultimate, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Alright, put Veronica in front as well. Okay, he got Ministra off, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, glitch the bitch up, it's helping us. Glitch the bitch, we're gonna go in. Ooh, ultimate from E1 again. Nuclear bomb. Boom! My god. One second left. Damn! The power E1 hype, man. Alright, let's go. We're gonna do some E1 testing. So, haven't used E1 in a while. The last time I used E1, it wasn't in my own account. It was in Akisa's account. So hopefully, this is gonna, we're gonna be able to do something interesting right here with my team comp. Okay, straight up, there's a new Ohio 
there's an awakened Jake. Things are going to be difficult right here. All right, things are going to be difficult, but uh, I do get E1 here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to sacrifice two units, right? So I'm going to bring in a uh, Sparrow. All right, I'm going to bring in Sparrow. Haras is going to come out and then do this. So now E1 is going to take up, you know, the other two. So I'm going to put this guy here, Overflow right here, hopefully tank for us. And there's a Xiaolin right there. It's gonna be a little bit annoying with a Ministra. Yeah, let's see if we, we, we got this, right? Hopefully we got this. Uh, we're gonna be able to, you know, distract a little bit. I do have my uh, Awakened Mina ready. Okay, so we're gonna do something right there at the back. Boom. So again, E1 combo with Mina right here. Perfect. Alright, E1 ultimate, this is all we want. So we also want to activate the... Uh... Okay, the Jake is doing a lot though. The Jake is doing a lot, for sure. Overflow again, hopefully we can distract. Maybe I need Iron Sight, I feel like I need Iron Sight, not for E1, but for, you know, for overflow uh, to be able to heal but um, yeah ideally iron sight is not that good because e1 cannot be healed so this is something that uh, you guys want to be careful when you're using an e1 uh, being you need to know what e1 is capable of what uh, e1 can do and what he cannot do okay so i'm fighting a rearm asterosa this is going to be interesting i think i should be able to do it just fine i'm gonna do this do that and then we're gonna try to... Ooh, there's a Maria as well. Okay, so E1 do counter Rearm Asterosa in a certain way. Uh, what happened is uh, E1, she has the ability to remove buff. So you can see right there. Alright, so we are able to remove the buff straight up. Yeah, that's a Zhou Xiang right there. Okay, let me put a... I think Veronica is a good combo. So I'm gonna do this. Right, the Veronica combo. And then E1 with the ultimate. This is where everything... Ooh, you can see right there. Alright. Gonna send Grandel in. So we were able to get rid. So E1 is all about... It's all about camping. You know, it's all about camping. Uh, hopefully, get rid of the enemy. So I might have to redeploy E1 depending on how I look at it. Okay, we are all the way in front. All the way in front. Okay, so once this happens, we can always redeploy. But Grendel is going to die right here. Look at this. <laughs> E1 just straight up took everyone along along with us which is crazy all right so we're gonna delay this process uh so yeah that's the the whole thing with e1 the stick with e1 basically this this is what you want to do you want to be careful uh you don't want to use full mech as well which is very bad right so i think you guys saw if everyone was mech it's like everybody would die if you redeploy e1 so there's no limit to how much uh, characters that E1 can kill. A lot of people have this misconception where if you use E1 means yeah, you have to use a full mech team. No, you shouldn't use full mech team actually. You gotta mix it a little bit, right? So you guys saw uh, I went and uh, transformed my team from using Sigma and then we went and used Maria ETC ETC. So yeah, that, that's straight up telling that uh, E1 teams is much more complex than you think. All right, you can't just run a full mech team uh, until then. I think uh, if you're really trying to go for that full mech team, maybe Horizon team is going to be much more safer. Uh, Awaken Horizon with Horizon. But I think E1 team, uh, you know, this is a good representation, I guess, of what E1 can do. I do think it's quite fun, um, but you got to have the perfect uh, good gears the best skill haste that you can obtain. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. This is what I have for my gears for E1. We got 72% skill haste. Uh, again, 
let me know what you guys think of E1 teams in general. Do you guys uh, love this kind of playstyle? Do you guys prefer this sort of, uh, you know, unique camping sort of like aggressive uh, character? Uh, I actually think E1 is pretty fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.